Welcome to this edition of Life's Perspective. I'm Mike Miller. Thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> Excuse me, my special guest today from the YMCA, Mike Lieber, the Executive Director, and Jackie Moko, the Rec Prox Director. How you doing, group? Good, good, good. Thanks for having us. Glad you're here. Fantastic. Beautiful day outside, right? Yeah. Getting there. <laughs> it's getting there <laughs> after the storm last night. But, and uh, when well, we found out Mike's going to be entering a new security field area. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works. That's all I know. House alarm work. Yeah. yeah. That's, it was sharing with us a story about his house alarm going off last night, and we're glad you're okay. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm lack of sleep, but I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit just about the why in general, just uh, all the different things that are going on, and then we'll talk about the annual giving, a couple other things, but... Uh, sure. Uh, I'll, take, I'll take part of that. Uh, you know, we've gone through a, the first quarter of the year, so that means everybody is able to get in their bathing suits and go, <laughs> go to the beach and have a great time. Uh, you know, it, actually, you know, obviously from December through... Uh, the end of March is our busiest time from a member perspective. Uh, all those New Year's resolutions and all those people coming in to try to get ready for spring and uh, our, our membership has been up uh, and so we're very thankful and grateful for that. Um, but we also um, want to encourage people to continue the journey because it is a trip, it is a journey. Um, you know, you, you need to keep uh, consistently working uh, so that you'll have a quality of life as you get older that you'll enjoy and appreciate. And the only way to do that is be consistent on your workouts. And we realize summer comes and there's more activities outside, mm. uh, but there's also a need to do some things inside, whether it's uh, swimming or weightlifting or uh, you know, running a treadmill when it's too hot outside to run outside. <laughs> Whatever it might be, I hope people will continue their their regimen. And, and for some, it's going to classes. Mm. Um, I'm not a class person, but... Uh, those around the table are that, that really enjoy that and you're held accountable by those in your class so we hope people will continue to do that but whether it's the pool or your family uh, whether it's a class or that you just doing something at the Y that you enjoy playing basketball or playing racquetball uh, we hope people continue to take advantage of that and we'll continue to be there to serve the community. And I know the RecPlex has a lot of different activities too going on now. Yeah, I mean, we still have our gymnastics programs going on. Um, you know, volleyball is in there. Our tennis players are still all in there, um, you know, maybe for a couple more <laughs> weeks. Um, and, you know, with spring, with the rain, we're right. still here to, you know, to serve them as well. Um, we've got the boxing that's in there and the batting cages are in there. Um, so we, we still have when did, I didn't know boxing was in there. Yeah, the Police Athletic League is That's there. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, right. it's a great program. It's picking up. So, yeah. No, are you into boxing? Are you... No. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I, I tell you, the, the, the two guys run at West Sims. Yeah. West Sims, a local guy who is a cage fighter. He's about uh, eight foot tall. <laughs> and uh, uh, Jamie and Matthias, they do a great job yeah, of coordinating. It's really a kid oriented program. They've got some adults doing it, but. What a super job they get kids after school and just, I won't say they're going to become the next Muhammad Ali, mm -hmm. but they're, they're going to be engaged with them. They're going to learn some techniques, but they're also going to be seeing some good role models from Jamie and Wes of this is how we handle ourselves. It isn't about fighting. It's more about being a kid and being a mentored by somebody. How do you arrive at what programs to offer like, like boxing? Does somebody come to you and say, gee, can we do this class and go from there? It's a combination. Sometimes. Yeah, a combination, yeah. I think Jamie and Wes came to us and said, mm -hmm. we like to use the RecPlex, we like to be there, here's what we do. And if a, if a philosophical theme is like we uh, like, we, we would accept them. And it is, they accept everybody, uh, they want to work with everybody. Uh, it's a, it, it really isn't a who can beat up somebody program. Mm -hmm. It's a working with kids and having them enjoy it. 
Um, and there's always the staples we do, you know, whether it be swimming or basketball or racquetball, those things we always are going to do. But uh, we try to stay trendy. Uh, I mean, Jackie has devoted uh, the last, I don't know, five, six years, maybe more, to yoga and has really become uh, whatever they call those yoga people, uh, <laughs> uh, the yoga master. All, all, all I know is I asked her one day about it, and I said, do you think I could do yoga? And she kind of looked at me, and, yeah, you probably could. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey, I've only been once. <laughs> Have you I, done uh, yoga? They didn't invite you back. <laughs> What's he the... said, do I put my hand where? <laughs> I, all, I, all I know, Mike, I was bent over, and I had my hand going through a leg, and the, the next person next to me kind of looked at me like, what are you doing? I, well, I'm trying to do what she told me to do. But flexibility-wise, you and I both need to do oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we do. Uh, absolutely. So, now, so, you... so I think we, we try to stay in tune to what the community needs, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there's a thing that's kind of taken off uh, uh, called Zumba. That was hot for a while. And so we, we offered that. That kind of faded away. You know, the step aerobic stuff doesn't fade away. It's no. still there. Yep. Uh, but, but we, you know, the why, I call us a full service facility because we'll, we'll try anything and do anything as long as we can get a group there to sure. do it. Sure, sure. And, it, and it's fit. And one more thing about the Police Athletic League is that, and that boxing league that's in there, is that they, um, they do a lot of reaching out to the community too. You know, community service. These kids not only come to boxing um, and develop that skill there, but they go out to the community. Uh, they they cut grass. They they clean basements. Uh, um, yeah, they, they took our they took our Y vehicle, our minibus, and went out Christmas caroling uh, this this Christmas. And it was very cool. They actually yeah. stopped at city wow. council and, <laughs> sang, really? and sang some songs to the council. So, you know, that's the kind of thing they're teaching kids sure. how to give back to the community. Yeah. And that's why we like their program and their activities. There are so many different programs. Is there people go to a website or can they pick up a directory? How would people find out about all the? I have one of the few. <laughs> I have one of the few left. Uh, we, we're trying to actually get away from the print version, mm -hmm. uh, and we're trying to drive people to the website www.ymcalancaster.org, and they're all listed there. We're in a bit of a transition era or time because we're finishing up what would be our spring offering and getting ready for the summer. Uh, so uh, our next session begins Monday, and then we'll go for five weeks, and then we'll take a break, and then in June we start the summer. But you can go to the website. You can call the desk at the Y or stop by, and we have these program guides available that, that uh, people can look through and find a program they want. But it, on the website, it, it, it's clearly marked, you know, fitness, aquatics, you know, whatever you want to do. Yeah, it's real easy to navigate around. Yeah, I can even navigate yeah, that's around. A, yeah. That's a plus. <laughs> yeah, I think so. The uh, people talk about, well, I missed the first class. Gee, can I still get in that class? Or, you know, it's a 12-week or five, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about just the, the scheduling of classes. There are some things that we have to get permission on. Um, you know, we got kids' classes, swim classes, gymnastics classes. Um, you know, we plan. There's a ratio, student-teacher mm -hmm. ratio there. So, um, you know, you try to get registered before the session starts um, so that we can try to plan, but always calling. The adult classes, the fitness classes, that kind of stuff, you can always get in for sure. Uh, you want to try and register early for some of the swim classes so you don't get locked out. Right. Yeah, because they get filled up. And well, we joked about the yoga. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I think we were joking. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, the good thing about, like, like Jake's adult fitness classes, I mean, our instructors kind of adapt to what you can do. Mm -hmm. So they would take you and I in yoga Absolutely. and understand, right. you know, that we're not going to be able to bend like Gumby and, you know, whatever. <laughs> and, and But it, it's what I can do, and, and I'm going to get better at it because they're going to work with me to get better, right. but they're not going to expect me on day one to do that or day five. Right. And so I always tell people, don't be intimidated by those been mm -hmm. taking our programs for 20 years. Like They're going to be able to do stuff faster and quicker, but just <coughs> do what you can do, feel comfortable, and don't hurt yourself so that the next day you can go to work. You know, yeah. we don't want you to do that. But but I, I think that's what's neat about the, our classes, our instructors. They, they conform to what you can do. Uh, One of the programs that um, <coughs> you've been involved is Live Strong. Yes. Talk a, just a little bit about that. <clears throat> so we ran our, <clears throat> excuse me, ran our first pilot program and that was a 12-week program and um, <clears throat> we learned a lot and it was a success. Um, 
we had, we actually had our graduation party yesterday. And, um, you know, there, there was so much. We, we actually did assessments pre-session oh, starting. Sure. So we knew how much, you know, you could, how many laps you could walk or run. We knew how much weight you could, um, you know, bench or that you could mm -hmm. press with your legs. And then at the end, we did another assessment so we could actually see the progression. Um, Live Strong is a program that uh, Y National has embraced, and um, it's for cancer survivors. And so we have some trainers, we call them coaches, who work with each one of the survivors that we have in our, in our group. And, it, and again, it's kind of multi-level because, you know, everybody has, you know, different levels mm -hmm. that they can achieve. Um, and we do a lot of tracking, um, you know, of, of how they're doing. Uh, we kind of get a feel for how do you feel today? What's your mm -hmm. energy like today? Um, so that we know how to put them through a workout. But we design different classes. We take them to Zumba in the water. Mm -hmm. Some of these people haven't been in mm -hmm. a pool yeah. in a very long time, you know. So it's just a great program that really embraces cancer survivors um, to help try to put some of the pieces back together, you know, so that they right. can get back into a workout routine. They can go upstairs in the welcome, uh, wellness center and they know how to, you know, approach the cardio equipment mm -hmm. or get into mm -hmm. the strength training stuff. Um, they know, they've come to my chair yoga classes. Um, you know, they know what it's like to interact in these different classes. <laughs> it is such a great program and, and all of us learned so much over this pilot program. Um, so we want survivors now. We are ready to start gearing up for our second because we finished our pilot program. Um, we are ready to start working towards our second program. We know that everyone is impacted right. by cancer. Mm -hmm. And so we know you guys are all impacted by cancer somehow. So. We want your survivors at the Y. We want them to give us a call, get in touch with Randy Curtis. Um, we'll get those survivors, you know, in for an intake interview. Um, there's, there's, it's a, it's great a great program. program. It really is. And, and we, we ask, all we ask is you make a 12-week commitment to come twice a week, mm -hmm. and, and we're going to get you a free membership for you and your family. Um, oh, and, <laughs> and, and we're going to... Um, we're going to get you involved in programs if you want at no cost. It's all at no cost to them for the, the 12 weeks they're there. And so, um, as Jackie said, it's a great way to get back engaged. Some, some may be farther along in that than mm -hmm. others, uh, but it, for some it really was a first step sure. to get back into to doing something physical and feeling good about it. So, uh, you know, great job by the instructors. And Absolutely. If anybody has any interest or knows family, Randy Curtis at the Y is the guy to call. Um, 740, now got down 740. Yeah, yes. 654 0616. Yes. <laughs> and give Randy his extension, which I don't remember, but uh, yeah, give him a call. 740, though, I do remember. <laughs> Half the time. <laughs> have you ever seen the commercial where the kid throws the phone down? He's outside because you have to dial that. That's me. <laughs> Enough of that. The lady who says, <laughs> You must not <laughs> dial. I've gotten nowhere to rather intimate basis. I just heard that for the first time last week. Oh, yes. oh really? yeah. That's yeah. nice. That's yeah. <laughs> there are so many programs that go on to Y, but one of them that has been a huge success is the summer camp. Right. We, we have been really thrilled. Uh, uh, Sherry Miller, I think, really got this thing really rolling and steamrolling it big time. And we have anywhere from 180 to 200 kids signed up. Wow. Not now, but we usually do. Uh, and they'll start in June, coming for a week at a time, and for the next nine to ten weeks we offer summer camp. So the thing I would encourage people to do is uh, get a hold of a, a, a list. Of, you don't have to come all nine or ten weeks. You can pick a week. Maybe, maybe the week they go to the Air Force Museum, that's what you want to do. Or maybe the week they go down to the festival with the kids, that's what you want to do. Uh, you can pick and choose your weeks, uh, but we, we, we will average about 120 kids a day that we move around the community and outside the community. And it's really, uh, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an educational experience because we try to have the kids 
in a learning mode. I think our current director, Laura Staten, is very, very high on making sure reading is kept up during the summer. And so I think they're going to be part of a reading program this year uh, that we um, are very excited about. And the other thing is that the, the cost of the camp uh, is around $110 for members. But if that's a problem for you, we have uh, funds from United Way and fund, funds from our Partner with Youth program that if you qualify for, we can put them in for a week or how many weeks they want at a, at a reduced rate. And I think that's, it's more important for us to get the kids involved Forget about the cost. Just, you know, kids need something to do this summer. Sure. I mean, you know, growing up, and mm -hmm. I do too, after that first week school's out, man, what am I going to do? Yeah. Uh, you know, when's summer over? Uh, and so, uh, or, man, I got in trouble again today because, <laughs> only, you know, so either one of those two scenarios work to my case. So if we can help and get kids involved and, and engage in activity, they make tie dye t shirts, uh, they're all the time doing something. Uh, we raised funds last year for the Humane Society. Uh, for the animal shelter. I mean, just good stuff going on, and, and we're engaging the kids, and, uh, and they get to travel in buses <laughs> and not air conditioned. <laughs> anyway, uh, my they, son loved it. He yeah. went through the program every really? year when he was that age. He loved it. Uh, you know, we do evaluations, and it's kind of a self serving thing. I mean, uh, did you love going to the Air Force, Air Force Museum? Yes. Did you love going to the outdoor? amusement park or water park yes okay great uh, you know, uh, but, but it is it is amazing. you know what what we really do get back is parents saying thanks for getting our kids involved yeah, in yeah. activities you know yeah. they really appreciate it, knowing they were safe secure mm -hmm. well taken care of and uh, you know the parents parents have to work uh, parents yeah. got stuff to do so I think do you I mean both of you do you see more parents involved today than maybe even five years ago Involved in bringing kids to, I mean, doing stuff with their kids. And, and yes, yes, I do. Uh, um. Yeah, I, I think the economy has almost forced parents. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not going to go mm -hmm. to Disneyland, right. but we're we're going to go to Miller Park or we're going to go to the Y. That's our outing, and so yeah, I think I think we've all felt the 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 need to do something with our family, but we can't afford to do what we like to do, mm -hmm. which is take everybody on a long holiday. Mm -hmm. So instead, we're going to take little short ventures. You know, we're going to go to Columbus and do something, or we're going to go to the Y. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah, I, I think uh, you see that in the gym a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and every once in a while we get requests by parents to do classes with their kids. Mm -hmm. um, i, I got to say, though, that that isn't necessarily a great thing. All It doesn't work out that way uh, because I think we all need our own. Kids need their own space. Uh -huh. And we know <laughs> as adults we need some time. Uh, but certainly we've, we've done both of those, and, and it can be successful. Uh, it just over the long haul, I think separation is good for everybody. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it, it's the why is so many things to so many people, and it does take finances to run that. And we're starting or about to start the annual campaign and talk a little bit about um, the, the, how it affects everyone. Well, one of the things that separates the why from um, the gym down the street, and there's nothing wrong with the gym down the street. But if you go to that gym and say, how much is your membership? And they give you a dollar figure and you say, I can't afford that. Uh, I'm sorry, but that's what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, when you come to the Y and, and you hear the number and I can't afford that, here, well, here's a scholarship application. Please <coughs> complete mm -hmm. that. Provide us the information financial you need. And if you qualify, we're, we're going to get you anything from 20 to 80% off. And I think that makes a huge mm -hmm. difference in, the, in, in people's ability to get engaged at the Y. But to do that requires some funds. And so we're very fortunate, again, living in the community we live in, that there's a great deal of people, a great many people who are very interested in helping us. And so we, we have a group of people um, committed this year to go out and, and ask those people to help us, anywhere from $25 to $225. It doesn't matter to us. Uh, they will get uh, the money and it comes back to the Y. And we spend um, anywhere from fifty to sixty thousand dollars, helping kids, families on memberships or on program fees, and uh, I, I think that's a, a real United Way helps us as well. Mm -hmm. So there's additional money from the United Way. I think that's a real positive thing for this community. That it doesn't matter what your finances are, you can become a member and engage in activities if you want to make the commitment. Mm -hmm. It starts with you because you're going to have to give something up probably. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it, it's a pop a week, you can do that. 
to get your kid involved in swimming lessons or to get your child involved in gymnastics. Uh, so the, the Partner with Youth campaign, uh, the theme to this year is Give Today for Tomorrow, which is really what it all means to us, is you're helping kids today that, that tomorrow they'll, they'll be in the community helping. So it's a great program and we're very excited to be able to continue to do that. I think it's, uh, I don't know, I think it was started maybe 15 years ago or something like that. It's been a while. I was on it way back in the beginning. Um, in fact, um, it's been a while. But does it, people, is it run all year? Does it run a certain time period? Talk a little bit about just a... In my life, it runs all year. <laughs> uh, there are, um, we have a, a campaign that runs from basically uh, mid-March to the end of April, 1st of May. And we try to do the community as a whole uh, with about 10 or 15 solicitors. Um, and they, they will contact anywhere from two to 300 people. Uh, I, I take some other responsibilities and I do, I call on people all year round mm -hmm. and uh, encourage those people that have given to, to me, through me, to the Y. So it, it ends for me December 31st. It starts again January 1st. Uh, so, uh, but again, <clears throat> it's just that's part of my job and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, part of what I do. Um, but the big push is now to do the community campaign. Right. And, and people, I've known people that have left money in their will to the YMCA, and, and that's something people don't think about. It's yeah. just, a, I, I think as you go through the Y, and you know, I've been involved in the Y for too long to remember, but <laughs> you know, just all the things that have happened. And I, once you're there, it's just, a, you see a lot of people. I, I can remember walking in and saying hello to all these people that, you know, I was just this 20 year old that nobody knew, but these were corporate people and they were, you know, hi, how are you? And I think that's the great thing about the Y. I just, just the camaraderie maybe. Yeah. You never know on a treadmill, whether it's the bank president yep. <laughs> or the guy who just emptied your trash uh, two days ago or the guy who's unemployed. Yeah, I mean, you just don't know, but you know, you have one thing in common. You both want to come in and work out and m move some steam and, and mm -hmm. get rid of some excess weight. And so it makes you all the same person, you know, compatible. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, you're right. And, and the why, we don't call ourselves a community center, but we really are. Right. I mean, it, it brings everybody, the little dancer who's five <laughs> years old to the swimmer who's 15 years old is going to nationals to the 85 year old who's in a silver sneaker program is going to do some chair exercises because that's what they can do. Mm -hmm. so it, it truly is a diverse group that comes in. Now, do you ever meet with other wives in Central Ohio or yeah. Southeastern Ohio and talk about, gee, this worked or that didn't work? Or? We we try to meet on a quarterly basis as leadership in the in the Y, and that includes Columbus, but includes Chillicothe and uh, Waverly, uh, Pike County, those kind of people. Uh, we Newark, we let Newark come over every once in a while, but uh, yeah, we we all like to sit down and and uh, figure out what what we see trending, mm -hmm. uh, what we see happening, the good things and and things we can improve upon. But it's an important part of my job is to keep in touch with those those kind of resources. Uh, that's where the really Live Strong came from. Uh, I heard some other people talking about it, and we applied for a grant and got the Live Strong program here because I knew in our community. Uh, FMC has had a big push with the cancer program, mm -hmm. and I, I just knew we were ready for it. And, and uh, I think after the first class, we are. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's a, any new programs coming to the Recplex that just uh, we learned about pile box. I didn't boxing just made that's I didn't know. Yeah, um, we just I mean we're always ready to rent. So if there's something that you have that you need space. Give us a call at 740-277-7373, and, and we've got the space for it, for sure. Uh, I tell you something new is coming to this community uh, soon, pickleball. Yay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people who like pickleball. They play it in, in Florida. Yep. Uh, yeah. I just had a gentleman email me about pickleball. He wants to do pickleball. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a form of tennis. Only on a low scale. Yeah. How about that? My in-laws uh, do it, play all the time. Yeah. yeah. There's a, uh, Waverly has it all the time down there. So, so we're getting some, a uh, couple comments about pickleball, right. but there's some lines that have to be set up and sure. so forth. But anyway, that that's uh, kind of interesting. Yeah. We just, time is flying by. We just have a, a few minutes left. Is there anything that you've looked at and thought, boy, if we had the money, this is what I'd like to do? Or this is what I'd like to buy? <laughs> <laughs> The board, Think outside the box. The, the, <laughs> the board hears that all the time. You know, we, the Recplex, part of the, the fix for the Recplex was to open up a gym 
on Sixth Avenue, and that that has worked. Um, what I guess what I would really like to do, uh, two things. I'd like to add another bay at the Recplex to have another court, uh, and also I'd like to make a studio for fitness uh, at the Y so that the gyms would all the time be open uh, because we yeah. still battle yep. because our fitness programs are in here and and now we want kids playing basketball but so I mean that's still a concern but if I if I had an open pocketbook uh, we would we would try to build now I need more land so I have sure. to create land somewhere <laughs> or we'd be in the river but uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, space, as soon as you take away and add something, you always are fighting for space. Right, yeah. Jackie would sit here and tell you, we need a yoga room, yeah. uh, <laughs> that her yoga room is being, being uh, outgrown. And so, and I, and I believe that, uh, but you just have so much space. And I, when I got there, board meetings used to be at the Y. Our yeah. board doesn't meet at the Y anymore because uh, they're in the yoga room. They're in the yoga room. <laughs> so, uh, oh, okay. uh, so we, don't have, we don't have space to meet for our board so, because we're programmed sure. it out. And, but that's a good thing. Yeah, you, you don't want empty space. Absolutely. Well, um, one more thing though okay. that we that we need help with, and that is with this Live Strong program, um, we need money to run that next program. Um, and you know, we're not looking for you know everyone who has that hundred dollar bill in their pocket. Um, you know, we can use ten dollars, twenty dollars, mm -hmm. whatever there is. Um, we can use that money to help run the next Live Strong program. We try to, you know, meet twice a week um, for twelve weeks. Um, you know, the Y is generous that they give. You know, the membership. Um, we provide sitter center if there's kids. We provide memberships. I mean, we know that cancer affects the whole family. We want the whole family there. So, um, you know, we just need the, the, the cash to Absolutely. run the program. We have about, just about 30 seconds left. Anything that you want to... I want to remind everybody, Healthy Kids Day is April 25th at the Y. We're actually doing it at the Recplex this year. So if you've never been to the Recplex on Locust Street, great bring your kids where you have uh, face painting, uh, gymnastics, mm -hmm. we have all kinds of activities scheduled that day over the Recplex from 12.30 to 3. We have some great t-shirts we're giving out, some nice um, uh, backpack sacks we're giving out. So uh, 12.33, April 25th at the Recplex. Fantastic. Thanks for coming in today. Thank Thanks you. for having us. very much. Enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Life's Perspective. I'm Mike Miller. And remember, until we meet again, let's make a difference. In 1929 uh, in Chicago, uh, a gentleman by the name of Marion Wade, a former uh, minor league baseball player, started the company. It was just a moth proofing company then. Uh, in 1952, it expanded to carpet cleaning and pioneered what uh, is now called uh, outsourcing. And the Sidwells wanted a community that had a lot of churches, had a lot of soccer opportunities, their kids love soccer, uh, and a good parks and rec department, so they chose Lancaster. And so in 1980, uh, they moved the franchise here in Lancaster to 6th Avenue. Uh, but then in 2002, Todd George, current owner, purchased the franchise from them. And in 2004, he bought a building uh, that's on Mulberry Street, and that's where the franchise is located currently. I'm Jay Johnson, General Manager of Service Master Clean by Todd George, where we guarantee if it's not done right the first time, we'll do it again. Service Master Clean by Todd George, 740-687-1077, 740-687-1077.